Hello, I'm Jay, owner of Volunteer Audio in Oliver Springs, Tennessee, and I've got some amazing news. Soundstream Reserve has released their latest radio. It's called V2, and it is the end all of all Harley Davidson radios because it has every feature you've ever asked for. You're going to want to watch the rest of this video as I go over these features in detail. This video is brought to you by VolunteerAudio.com, your number one source for all things Harley-Davidson audio, from individual radios, speakers, and amps, to complete plug-and-play amp and speaker systems, we've got you covered. And once you've ordered your package from Volunteer Audio, it includes lifetime tech support, and we have the very best step-by-step -step installation video, so you can install it yourself and save money. All right, so Soundstream Reserve has released a teaser video and they sent it to us. So we're gonna go through this video and we're gonna tell you what we know or what we think we know based off the video. They've told us as we get closer to release, they're gonna release a full feature set. We'll do a future video on all those features. But I wanna tell you right now, from the opening screen on this radio, we can tell the display is edge to edge. Now on the previous models from anybody else, we've not seen a screen bigger than seven inches. Measuring this out, this would put it well over eight inches, closer to eight and a half inches on this display. So it is the largest display that we've seen yet on a Harley. It also has a much different opening scene and looks to have a new graphic user interface. So let's go to what we're gonna call the home screen now and look at what features it shows and, and see what we can tell from this teaser. First off, we see it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Some other manufacturers have not been adding in Android Auto. This is a huge feature because this covers all the different phones. Uh, now we'll also see though, if you notice, there's a navigation tab. So this radio is gonna have built-in navigation from what we can tell. And it looks like from on screen, you can see it's gonna be able to have the ability to show what I'm gonna call tiles. So we can see things like turn-by-turn -turn nav, as well as what's plain, whether it be Sirius XM or from our phone, all on one screen. I see a tab there that says apps. I don't know what all else that's gonna add. Maybe we'll get to a full list of that as we get this full breakdown later on. But for sure we see it has Bluetooth and it still has gauges and motorcycle info, which tells us it's still gonna be able to use the IdeaLink Maestro module, which is gonna give us all of that vehicle information that we've loved so much in the SI radio. So let's go on to the next screen and see what else we have to look forward to. Okay, so here we are. We've got to Apple CarPlay screen. And yes, this screen is full edge to edge. And as you notice, you can actually fit more of your icons on each screen. And I just think it's gonna be awesome as we roll out this new radio and we have this new, new look. Okay, on our next screen, you'll notice we've got Android Auto. Again, larger full edge to edge display. So everything's gonna be bigger and easier to see on your bike. So as we continue on, they've kind of give us a teaser of the next one. So we've got a Sirius XM brought up here. So we know Sirius XM is gonna be built in. But if you notice right next to that Sirius XM icon, we've got HD radio. So that's gonna be a high definition FM signal. So you're gonna have the very best of FM and it looks to still have traditional AM, FM as well. We see an equalizer tab. I'm sure this has at least the 13 band EQ because there's no way they're gonna go backwards on this new model. This is the new flagship radio. So let's see what we've got in our next uh, slide here. So the next screenshot they sent us appears to be the gauge layout but it's a new graphic user interface, a new layout than we're used to on the SI. I really like it because we've got a better layout on the gauges and probably something we're able to do with this new edge to edge display as well. Still appears to have page one and two. And if it's anything like the other radio they made with iDatalink Maestro, that means we're gonna have our most common gauges on one screen and what we call the, pack, the track pack gauges on the next. Let's go on and see what we got next. And this, <laughs> this screen is extremely exciting to me. Because as you notice, the top of the screen says wireless headset. It also has the ability here to pair both the rider's headset. So it looks to be, that would be, it says 20S, so I'm assuming that's a Cena headset. It also has the ability to pair passenger. So that means we're gonna be able to pair two different Bluetooth devices through the radio. And the way this is working, it does not appear to use a wireless headset interface module, also known as a WIM. So a lot of the things that are restrictive of that, I'm sure they have tackled and made so much better. 
and it looks like we have a special menu here on how we would communicate from that rider to passenger. All right, let's move on to our next screen. All right, this is exciting too. We have a new motorcycle info screen. So if you remember on the SI, you just had a picture of a motorcycle and there you can see like the tire pressure and brake lights and turn signals. I really like this because if you notice across the top, we have a nice info bar showing us things like oil pressure, headlights, turn signals, neutral and so. But we have a huge speedometer view on the same screen along with things like tire pressure and battery voltage. I really like this layout. It's a much better feel than what we had before. So looking at over this radio, it looks like this is gonna have most everything anybody's asked for. We've had quite a few people ask us for a dedicated USB, which appears from the, the main uh, home screen. We have a dedicated USB. At the same time, the Android Auto is up. That makes me know for sure we either have wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto, or we, and we also have a secondary USB device option. So that gives you the ability to play that music in OneDrive, listen to your phone on the other. We have built-in nav for the guys that don't have a phone. It looks like we have the, the motorcycle info, the gauges, and a headset communication ability. I mean, this is answering everything anybody's ever asked for. And on top of that, look at that huge display. I'm blown away. I'm excited to get the full feature list. And we've been told when we're somewhere around 60 to 45 days out, we'll get that list, we'll do another video. And at that time, we should be able to do a pre-order on the radio. Now we know the estimated price at this time is gonna be $15.99 plus your IdataLink Maestro. So that's gonna put this at roughly a $600 price more than the current SI model, or about $400 more than one of the comp competing radios from one of the competitors. But I think you can tell from the feature set, if it has wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto, headset communication, navigation, USB, huge display, there is no doubt this radio is gonna do everything we've ever asked for and gonna be well worth the cost. I'm very, very excited to see it come out. As we get closer and we can do a pre-order, we'll do another video, so make sure you subscribe to Volunteer Audio's YouTube channel. By doing so, you're gonna get the latest information on V2 as it comes out. You're gonna find out the latest in everything Harley Audio. We'll be showing you how to install it, we'll be showing you how to use it, and as you know, we're gonna make sure that after you've bought one, that we continue to keep you informed so you get the best possible experience out of your new radio. Please like this uh, video. It's gonna move us up in YouTube search results so other people see it. It's as simple as clicking the little like icon, and we appreciate you doing so. Also, comment below if you got questions, maybe things you wanna add that maybe we didn't cover. Put that below, I'll be quick to answer. And thank you so much for watching Volunteer Audio's YouTube channel. And as always, God bless.